Welcome to the AE Juice YouTube channel. I'm Chris and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the zoom transition right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got two video clips imported into your composition. So as you can see, I've got this one clip of this guy walking up this hill and then I've got the London skyline. So one clip into another. So first of all, you just want to stack your two clips next to each other like so. Now, from here, we're just going to do a zoom in at the end of the first clip. So we're just going to go to the very end. So we'll go here, press S on the keyboard to load scale. Now I'm working in a 1080p composition, but the footage is 5K. So I've scaled it down and this means my scale is currently set to 38. So my numbers might be a little bit different to yours. If you've got 1080p footage in a 1080p composition, yours should say 100 and not 38. So don't follow these exact numbers, just use the techniques used in this and apply it to your video. So at the moment it's set to 38. So I'm just going to set a brand new keyframe on the scale by selecting the stopwatch icon. Then I'm going to go back in time a few frames. So we go one, two, three, four frames to the left. And I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on the scale. Now we'll go back to that second point and I'm just going to increase the scale of the second point up to around 50 or 60. So if yours was 100, then it's now going to be 120, 130 or even 140. So at the end of this first clip, we've scaled in. That means we're zooming into the clip. That means this second clip must start smaller and zoom in to the full size. So we're going to go four frames over to the right. We're going to create a brand new keyframe on scale. Then we'll go back to the very beginning of this clip and we'll pull the scale down to around, let's go 20 in my example, but in your example, it's going to be around 80, 70, somewhere around there. And of course, doing so means we can now see this black video around the edge of our video. But we'll worry about that in a second. So if we play this back, you can see we've got that zoom in effect now happening. But of course, we now need to deal with this problem. Before we do that, though, I'm just going to add a little bit of character onto this zoom in. So we'll go three or four frames to the right of this keyframe here. We'll create a brand new keyframe on scale. Then we'll go to that middle keyframe and we'll increase the scale just a little bit. And the reason why we're doing this is it's adding a little bit of that bounce as that zoom transition finishes. So we zoom in and there's a little bounce. It just gives that transition a little bit more character. So now we can focus on getting rid of this black video. So in effects and presets, we're going to search for motion tile. Then we'll drop motion tile onto that video. And inside of motion tile, you can see we've got tile center, tile width, tile height, output width and output height. So we're going to focus on the output width first. So we're going to pull this up to 300. Then we go to output height. So we'll go to 300. And as you can see, this doesn't look too great. It looks a bit jarring. And even with motion blur on, you're going to tell we've done something here. So in order to fix that, we're going to select mirror edges. And that makes it a lot nicer. So like I just mentioned, we now need to go and add some motion blur. So you want to select both of your layers here and select the box just under the motion blur icon. Of course, if that isn't showing, that means you might be in the wrong switch slash mode setting. So if this is what you're seeing, you want to select toggle switches slash modes and then turn that on. And as you'll see, this motion blur icon should turn blue. If it's grayed out, then just press it and it should turn blue. And when it's blue, the motion blur is on. So we'll just give that a second to render. And as you can see, that looks really good. Now to add a little bit more character to this, we can select all of those keyframes on the scale. We'll right click on one of them or double click, go to keyframe assistant and we'll select easy ease. The easy ease setting is part of your keyframe interpolation and the keyframe interpolation is just basically how your keyframe reacts from one to another. So with easy ease selected, it means it's going to slowly accelerate out of the first keyframe and slow down into the next keyframe rather than aggressively starting and stopping. If we play this back, you'll see what I mean. It just looks a lot nicer and a little bit softer. But there you go. That is how you would do this transition inside of Adobe After Effects without AE Juice. Now, let me just show you how quick and how easy this is with AE Juice. So here we go. We're back at square one. We've got our two video clips right next to each other. There's no keyframe animation happening. So from here, we're going to go into the AE Juice pack. And inside of the seamless transitions pack, you can see we've got all of these amazing transitions. So we've got our basic transform, blur, camera, displacement, fade, fisheye, flares, flip, form, glitch, hit, lens, offset, perspective, pixelate, shake, simplified, stretch, tap and cursor. Let's go down because there's even more. 
target zoom, warp, and then we've got our sound design as well. But of course, we're doing a zoom transition in this example. So let's focus on the target zoom. So as you can see, just hovering over these icons, we're going to get this video playback of how this will look. So we've got 22 target zoom transitions to choose from. Okay, so I really like the look of this specific transition here. So I'm just going to select that or we'll press import. That's just going to take a second to do its thing. And there you go. As you can see, this right here is where the cut should live. So there's a little pointer here. That's where the cut should live. So we'll just drag that over to sit in between these two clips where the cut lives. We'll just render this out quickly. And as you can see, we've got this really awesome transition appearing on our video. And the great thing is with these AE Juice transition plugins is they literally are just a case of simply dragging them onto the composition, aligning them up between the clips, and you're good to go. There's no motion tile plugins, there's no keyframe animation, there's no easy ease keyframe interpolation and all that nonsense. You simply just drag and drop it on top of your footage and they look great. And of course, the great news is with all of these transitions is they are very reactive as well. So if this was a little bit too quick for my project and I wanted to elongate the transition out, so transitioning into that second clip, all I have to do is just drag this clip over to the right. It's just going to elongate that transition. So we transition in quickly and then we slowly transition out. It just makes it feel a lot more natural. And there you go. That is how I do the zoom transition inside of Adobe After Effects with AE Juice and without AE Juice. As you can see from this tutorial, you can achieve a really awesome transition without AE Juice. But of course, if you have the plugin, it is going to make your life a lot easier and you're going to be able to quickly make something really cool in a matter of seconds. So if you're interested in the AE Juice transitions pack, then just go ahead, check out the AE Juice website. I personally would recommend the I Want It All bundle because there are so many amazing products, plugins, transitions, that AE Juice is providing and you can get them at an absolute steal of a price. So check out the AE Juice website and the I Want It All bundle. And of course, if you're enjoying these videos and you're finding these helpful, then please do consider pressing the subscribe button, liking, commenting, pressing that bell icon for notifications on future uploads. And of course, I will see you on the next video. See you there.